Hey guys, good morning. So, today is our last day of our Discovery Canyon Vacation Bible School lessons. And our lesson today is on healing again. And let's go ahead and start with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so in our story today, when I say the word surprise, I want you to clap twice. Okay, so here comes our story. This is from the Gospel of Luke. So we have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are the four Gospels in the New Testament. So this is from Luke. There was a man who could not walk. He wanted to walk so that he could do the things his friends and family did. One day, his four friends surprised him with some news. They said, we're going to see Jesus and we're taking you with us. The four friends surprised the man by picking up his mat and carrying him all the way to where Jesus was. But the friends were very surprised to find the house where Jesus was had so many people in it that there was no room for them. The man thought that they would have to go home, but surprise! His friends carried him up the roof of the house. There was no way still to see Jesus, so they cut a hole in the roof and lowered their friend down through it. The people in the house were very surprised to see the man on the mat being lowered through the roof. Jesus was surprised, too. Jesus helped the man. He told him to take his mat and go home, that his sins were forgiven. Everyone was surprised to see the man stand up, pick up his mat, and go home. The man was surprised. His friends were not surprised. They knew that Jesus could help their friend. The man told everyone he knew about Jesus and his wonderful surprise. That was lots of clapping. So, I was wondering what it felt like for the man when he got up and walked, because we don't have any explanation in our story about how many years he was not walking. So I wonder, you know, if it was really hard for him to walk for the first time when he had been not walking for so long. And I also wonder what the people thought when the man came through the roof. Now our roofs are really hard to break through. It takes something really, really strong, like a really, really bad storm to knock a tree limb or something through it. But in their times, the roofs were just made of a lot of tree things. So tree branches and stuff like that to cover the top of the roof, they were called thatched. So for them, breaking through the roof wasn't that hard. But still it would be weird to see somebody being lowered through a roof. So, the man who couldn't walk on his own had really good friends, because think about it. It's hard to lift somebody up just when you're just doing it normally, but then to lift them all the way up and crawl on top of the house and lower them down, that must have taken a lot of effort. So, they knew that they had to help him, and together they figured out a way and got it done. God blesses us with our friends. So think about a friend who you have had for a while and pray about that friend and um, thank God for the friends that are in your life because they really are a blessing. So here's a challenge that I want you to try and do. I want you to see if you and your family can get a towel. It's a beach towel, a regular towel, whatever kind of towel you have, and put on either a stuffed animal or a doll into the middle and see if you can have a path in your backyard that you can carry just like the man had his friends carry him all the way through the town and up through the roof. See if you guys can carry this baby doll or this stuffed animal all the way through your backyard on the path that your parents make for you or your grandparents make for you and see if you can do it without dropping the baby. And then see how fast you can do it. If you do it once and you don't drop it, see how fast you can go. So that's my challenge to you to see if you can recreate this Bible story. So we're going to say a prayer now. And then I'm going to have an extra special treat for you where I'm going to teach you something that's going to be done in worship and see if you can help me participate. So fold your hands and let's say our prayer. Dear God, thank you for the friends that we have. Help us to be good friends wherever we go. Amen. So we will go ahead and say goodbye for now, and I will see you in just a second with a special surprise. Bye. Hey, guys. So 
The thing that I thought that we could do is make sure we remember our sign language that we've done sometimes. So let's do thanks be to God. You put your fingers at your chin and say thanks be to God. And we put our hand up and come straight down in front of our body. So let's try it again. Thanks be to God. And another thing that we can say that we often say in church is peace be with you. And we've done this before in Sunday school. Peace. So take your hands together, bring them apart and bring them down. Be with you. Peace be with you. So those are two things that we can sign and say to each other either in our house or say to some friends if we're seeing them out at the mailbox or what have you. So those are things that we can do just to remember to spread God's word. So I hope you had a good day in Sunday school and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.